Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our next example of how we're going to use L'Hopital's rule to solve this particular problem. We're supposed to take the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus the cosine of x divided by x squared. If we do try to plug in the limit, let's see what happens. So this would be equal to 1 minus the cosine of 0 divided by 0 squared. It would be 1 minus 1 divided by 0 or 0 divided by 0. And again, that is an indeterminate form. L'Hopital's rule comes to the rescue. So let's take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator and see what we end up with. So this becomes equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator. Of course, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of the cosine of x is the minus sine of x times the minus becomes the plus sine of x divided by the derivative of x squared is 2x. Now when we plug in the limit, notice that the numerator becomes 0, and the denominator becomes 0 again. Again, this gives us a 0 divided by 0 condition. Again, it's an indeterminate form. But now we have a new function here, so let's say we started with the problem where we take the limit as x approaches 0 of this new function, the sine of x divided by 2x, and we apply Le Hopital's rule to this. We should then maybe get a form that we can then uh, plug in the limit for x. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator, which is the cosine of x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, which is 2. Now let's plug in the limit and see what we get. When x approaches 0, this becomes the cosine of 0 divided by 2. The cosine of 0 is 1. That would be equal to 1 half. And there's the limit to the original problem when we allow x to go to 0. Here it required us to take Le Hopital's rule twice before we end up with a form of the equation where we can actually plug in the limit. And that's how we do that.